Also tonight, some parents at one Buffalo school reached out to us about concerns they have over the lack of any crossing guards at the school. And Channel 2's Jeff Preval took those concerns to one lawmaker and police and brings us the details from Southside Elementary. Parents at Southside Elementary in Buffalo are concerned that too often there's no crossing guard in the morning and afternoon. This morning, when there was no crossing guard, a driver crashed into a fire hydrant right outside the school and right by the crosswalk. Police say the driver's foot slipped off the brake by accident. No charges will be filed and there were no injuries, but parents believe this was a close call. Who's responsible for our children? Some parents just drop their kids off and go because they don't have the time to cross their kids. She has two kids at Southside. There has gone weeks where we haven't had anybody cross the children. The Buffalo Police Department is responsible for hiring crossing guards. They say if a crossing guard cannot fill a shift, either someone from the school or a police officer is contacted to handle crossing guard duties. But police say time is a factor and someone isn't always available. Police tell us that a crossing guard at the school didn't show up for work this morning and yesterday and has resigned. Parents tell us no one filled the guard's duties. So it looks like the, the system isn't working. I made a few phone calls today and it seems that there may have been a lack of communication between the Buffalo Police Department and Buffalo Public Schools. But when we showed up to Southside Elementary this afternoon as students were dismissed, we found a Buffalo Police officer filling in as the crossing guard. Now, Buffalo police tell us that they are looking for a permanent crossing guard for this intersection, and they're actually looking for crossing guards across the city. Now, in the meantime, however, though, we've been told from the department that a crossing guard or a police officer temporarily will be handling duties here until another one is hired. Reporting in Buffalo, I'm Jeff Preval, Channel 2 News.